the first one in line we have anvit kotha and he's going to speak the public speaking on good manners anvit my mom always says that it doesn't matter who you are how smart you are or what your status is because if you don't have good manners then all that doesn't matter she has said this so many times and nagged me so many times sorry mom so that i'm led to believe that good manners are one of the most important things in the world hi my name is anvit katha and today i'll be speaking to you about good manners so first of all what are good manners well simply put good manners are habits and things that an individual does that are essentially good because they help other people and they can help the person themselves so having said that there are many good manners that anyone can develop in fact it's actually very simple for example when someone helps you when you are in need you can just say thank you this shows them that you appreciate their help and what they did was very useful to you you should always listen to someone someone else when they are speaking to you because they're trying to share their ideas and thoughts with you and if you don't listen to them it will just be a waste of time for them i said before that you should say thank you when someone helps you and you should help others too when they are in need because if you help someone they'll you'll earn their trust and they'll like you more you should always at the table you should always act properly because you don't want to discuss discuss someone else and uh ruin ruin their uh dinner for them like if you reach over the table to grab something rather than asking for them to pass it on or playing with your food and making silly figures you should also also behave well in appropriate areas like if me and my sister fight at the mall that might not be appropriate but it might be perfectly fine if we fight at home You should also always respect the property of others. Imagine if someone came over to your house and let's say they broke your video games. How would that make you feel? If they broke all your video games and you would feel mad, maybe even sad, and you might have to get new video games. So imagine those feelings and don't uh respect the property of others. So like what you might think is just some random thing that's of no use to do. might be something that's very special to someone else. And finally, you should always respect elders because they are the people that um they're the people that you look up to and learn from. And we should respect them because they are the people in our lives that have that we can look up to and we sh- and then we should respect them because they are very important people. So why am I telling you all this? Why am I telling you to use good manners? Why am I telling you about all the good manners that uh we can develop? Well, because good manners have so many benefits. I mean, they're endless. Let me give you a few examples. Like if you go up to someone that you've never met before or someone that you've seen before, you can just say, "Hello, auntie. Hello, uncle. How are you doing?" Then they'll know that, "Oh, this boy is a very nice boy. Anvit is a very nice boy." uh i should talk to him more he's look seems like a good person you'll make a good first impression and then you'll create an everlasting impression and more people will want to talk to you you'll make more friends and finally you'll believe in yourself because you you know that you're a good person everyone likes you and it'll just make a better future for you so in conclusion i'd like to say that good manners are very important as i've said in my speech and there's many good manners that you can develop and if we continue using these good manners wherever we are whatever we're doing and however old we are we'll definitely become a better better person i guarantee that thank you for your time today this is plaza tv dallas park